So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to keep brands coming back to work with you. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and your first time seeing me, hi, my name is Belema Ogulu. I create beauty content, lifestyle content, content for the influencer and content for businesses that want to work with influencers. If you're a returning subscriber, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to keep brands coming back to work with you. Basically, how to keep brands constantly interested in working with you or wanting to work with you. I'm going to start by saying that by the grace of God, I have been able to work with almost every single brand that I have worked with at least twice. That is solely by the grace of God and of course the things I'm going to tell you about in the video today. So if it's something that you're interested in, learning about then stick with me and you know just follow this video through to the end many times as influencers we tend to forget that collaborations are not just one-offs because when a brand reaches out to you if they get a good impression if you do everything that they want you to do they get the conversions that they're looking for why wouldn't they come back and work with you why wouldn't they want to sign you as a brand ambassador for their brand these things go hand in hand right so with that being said i'm going to tell you exactly how to keep brands coming back to work with you so i've broken down what you need to do into three phases pre-collaboration during the collaboration and post collaboration so let's start from pre-collaboration this is before the collaboration even happens point of view a brand just reached out to you and they would like to work with you so the first way to keep brands working with you and basically just be memorable is first from the initial conversation be very very polite and humble say thank you for your kind words i appreciate you reaching out to me out of the thousands of influencers that you might have seen let's say they text you and they're like hi my name is yetun the representative of mac cosmetics nigeria and we would like to reach out to you for a so so and so campaign please send us your rates let us know what you think blah 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 your reply will be hi yetunde you have to say the person's name right it's just courtesy honestly it's just common courtesy hi yetunde thank you so much for reaching out to me i really appreciate this message and your kind words here's what i think then you drop your reply courtesy and being polite goes a long way i know gigs i've gotten from just being nice so being polite and humble is definitely the first step to building long-lasting relationship with brands. Step two is be very, very professional no matter what happens, right? There was a brand that reached out to my friend and was talking about, oh, we would like to send you this and that. She was like, oh, I'm currently not taking any unpaid collaborations right now. If you have a budget, I would love to work with you. And the brand replied her and was like, now, wow, this must be influencers of nowadays. You cannot just do something. We are sending you products. That's how people end up spoiling markets for other people. It's very easy in that situation as a human being, especially as an influencer that already is under enough pressure from Instagram algorithm <laughs> to just snap and be like, I beg, if you know you don't have money, just say so. But then in that kind of situation, it's always, always, always best and to always pay you to maintain your cool. Don't ever be disrespectful to a brand even if at all push comes to shove and something happens that calls for disrespect i still don't think that you should be disrespectful no matter what then number three is offer your advice and your opinion so the truth is that some brands don't really sit down to do their influencer marketing campaign before they start reaching out to influencers right they know that they want more sales and eh? so they go from i want more sales let me use an influencer this person will post when they post they will, I will get sales but then that is not how it works unfortunately so because of that they don't really have a goal for their campaign they just know that okay and let me just reach out to one person this person will be able to post when this person posts you know there's really no direction so you as the influencer and somebody that has experience in the space how you can be of value to that brand of extra value and build a long-lasting relationship because remember this is a long-lasting relationship game that we're playing is offer them your advice and opinion. They say, oh, I want you to post 14 videos, 14 pictures, 14 days over the next 14 months. That's cool, but you wouldn't get your results. So here's what you say. In a situation where the brand's offering, you know it's not going to even give them the turnover that they want. You say, oh, that's a great idea. Have you looked at it from this angle? Then you suggest whatever angle that you're coming from. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just offer your own professional advice and opinion. That way, the brand sees you as valuable. Does that make sense? So now we're done with the pre-collaboration phase. So now during the collaboration, this is like influencer etiquette 101. So during the collaboration, first thing you want to make sure that you're doing is giving updates. Oh, hi, I just got the package today. Thank you so much for sending it through. Hi, I unboxed it today. I really, really love it. Check out my IG story. I did your unboxing video. Brands love influencers that give updates. Trust me, from experience, I can tell you. You know those people that were like ITK or you were seen as doing eye service in class when you were in school 
brands love those kinds of people those people are giving them updates um so i've taken your pictures today this is your first draft this is your second draft this is the final product what do you think we're posting tomorrow by six uh, give them the updates that they want give them as well if i let them be the ones to say well we trust you with the creative process go ahead post whenever you want let them be the ones to say that but always give them updates number two make sure that your content is high quality high value when a brand pays you to create content for them it's probably because they've seen what you've done before and they appreciate it and they like it now you cannot give them anything that is below par when it comes to the content that they're paying you for i know that sometimes as influencers something just happens somewhere along the line that just kind of messes with production or the algorithm is just doing the absolute most but as much as you can do everything on your own end to make sure that you are providing quality high quality content this will go a long way in how the brand views you and appreciates the work that you do for them now the third way to keep brands working with you or to give a good impression is to deliver on time listen it's better for you to just not give a timeline than for you to give a timeline and say oh i'll be able to deliver this next week monday next week monday comes and brand is the one messaging you to say um hi you're supposed to deliver this on monday but you haven't delivered it yet what's going on no mm -mm, mm -mm. if anything happens to where timing will be an issue make sure you reach out to the brand at least two days before to say oh hi i recorded the video however i don't think it's up to par i would like to record it so it wouldn't be able to go up on monday or it wouldn't be able to go up at the time that we thought it would what do you think you can send them a draft of the video oh i think i can do better than this say oh this is what i did but i think i got a better idea so i would like to do that instead would you mind us extending this for about two more days or three more days whatever time that you need to create that content it will not be a problem <laughs> okay but for the brand to reach out to you that you are late ah you don't want that so always deliver on time that's it for during the collaboration now we're on to post collaboration this is after you have delivered your deliverables they've paid you you've delivered the contract is over or the collaboration is over after the collaboration there are three things that you can do to so leave a sweet taste in their mouth which would get you your second collab first is to send a thank you message you could give it some time maybe a week and then just send a message appreciating the brand oh thank you so much for this collaboration opportunity i really enjoyed working with you you were not a stress to work with at all i hope that we can work together very soon in the near future thank you so much for the opportunity i really love using your products just be genuine and send a very nice thank you message it will go a very 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 long way because many influencers do not send thank you messages then next randomly checking with the brand you could wait for about a month or a month and some change and then just randomly checking like, oh hi i just remembered the video that we did together and it made me smile i thought to reach out and check in see how your day is going hope you're having a great day just thought to check in lots of love or have an amazing day something something and then sign off with your name messages like that go a very long way because one not many people are sending out these messages two it shows that you care do you understand people like to feel cared for or cared about then the third thing you can do to leave a sweet taste in the mouth of brands is to follow them on social media and interact with their content so you know how a brand owner can tell you ah this influencer if we post today this person will post without even asking us for money yeah these influencers are the ones that leave good taste in the mouths of brands so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up drop a comment share this video yeah and subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much see you in my next video bye